hello guys and welcome once again to my channel if you have been here and if you haven't it is so very nice of you to pass by so for today's video i finally got to use the desiccated dose of colors collection and this is the look that i came up with with some of the products from the collection so if you want to see how i did this just keep on watching okay let's get started so today i'm actually going to start with the face as opposed to how i usually do it with the eyes which is a little bit different for me but i chose to do it this way today and i do regret it because i had some fallout under my eyes so as you saw i primed my face with my bare minerals prime time primer which is a very very good i like to use this when i'm using a foundation that's kind of heavy i feel that the foundation goes on very smoothly on top of it and it just looks really good and for foundation I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation which I'm obsessed with at the moment it is my favorite and it's so affordable and I'm almost running out so I need to go get a new one and I am just buffing that foundation with this Tarte buffing brush which is no longer being sold it was a limited edition brush but there's tons of brushes that you can find just like this one so for concealer I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Total Coverage Studio Pro Concealer which again my favorite at the moment it is so good and it is so affordable and I am definitely adding this to my pro kit because it's just that good like really it's that good and I am blending that out with my Pure Cosmetics sponge. Then to set that concealer, I'm using that exact same sponge, which is damp by the way, and I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm setting the concealer with this one. As opposed well to my Laura Mercier, I have been enjoying this one more lately. It just gives me a flawless finish. And then let's move on to the eyes because let's face it, that's what we're all here for. So I am priming my eyelids with my MAC Cosmetics Paint Early Paint Pot, which I'm going back to this one because as much as I do like the other primer that I've been using, this one's just better. It just covers all imperfections, it's flawless. And then I'm starting by setting that primer with the color Crunch from the Tarte Rainforest of the C2 palette, which if you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you know that I am completely obsessed with this palette. All the colors just look and blend beautifully so nicely and just they look seamless it's just it's beautiful and I'm so impressed with it and I am taking now the color marina which is a nice neutral brown and I'm applying that all over my crease and also my outer corners this is going to serve as my transition shade for today's look I'm going for kind of like a smoky eye look with a little bit of shimmer and for that I'm using tons of browns I think like three of them to create a seamless smooth smoky eye and the next brown that I'm going to be using is the color seaside which is a darker brown and by the way all of these colors have kind of like a sheen finish like they're not shimmery or satin they just have kind of like a sheen and I think that's why they look so beautiful blended together but they're still matte and I'm applying that exactly where I applied the one before so the crease and the outer corner but just lower and that's going to create a smooth seamless transition and for this particular look every time that I use a darker color I use a smaller brush or a more precise brush so for example this brush is the same size as the other one but it is more packed together so it's going to be a tighter blend and then for this last darkest brown I'm using the color siren and if you look at the brush this one is teeny tiny it is a very small blending brush and I'm applying that right on the crease so I don't want that to go below or above the crease I want it to be right on the crease and that's why this brush is so small as you can see so that that color is very concentrated and if I feel like that darkest brown is looking a little too harsh then I go ahead and take the former brush and just blend in between these two shades so this brush will be blending between the darkest and the medium brown and then the other brush would be blending between the medium and the lightest brown if that makes sense and then finally I'm just taking a black shade and I'm applying that right on the lid and this one is also from the same palette and this shade is like a satiny black it kind of reminds me of you know when you were in elementary school and you would kind of like 
do that shading with the pencil this is what that looks like to me <laughs> and it's a little funny but it is a pretty color I'm just telling you this is exactly what that looks like I am just using that as a base for the next shadow that I'll be applying which is Harpoon by Dose of Colors and Desi Katie. I am so excited to finally be using these and I'm applying a Harpoon right on top of that black shade and as you can see it is just I, I was not ready for it. It is so beautiful. It has exceeded my expectations. Honestly, I'm going to be completely honest. I was a little disappointed with how long the shipping took. So once it got here, I wasn't excited anymore. But once I used it, I am just, I'm speechless. It is so beautiful. Then for lashes, yes, I'm finally wearing lashes today. These are by Pure Cosmetics in the style Bombshell. And they are just, they're about to make me fly. They're so long, so fluffy. So fluttery they're amazing for my lower lash line I'll just be applying one shadow and it is Noli which is a nice warm satin shade and it's going to help balance out the lips later on and for my inner corner I'm just applying shoes and then just to blend a little bit my fake and natural lashes I'm applying some mascara and this one is by L'Oreal it is the lash paradise which I just reviewed last week so if you want to see that check it out and I'm also applying that in my lower lashes now that I'm completely done with the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and finish my face. I'm setting my foundation with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder, which I have said this before, but I'm really, really enjoying this. It has the same finish as the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, and it's cheaper. Then for contour, or more like bronzer, I don't really contour that much, I just apply more like bronzy shades. I'm using from Kat Von D the Shadow Play Contour Powder and for blush I'm using from this beautiful Tarte Blush Palette. I'm using the one in the shade Mindful and I'm just applying that in the apples of my cheeks. And for highlights, finally, this is the star of the show, I think. I'm using also from Dose of Colors and Desi Katie. I'm using the one called Mirame, which I'm loving. I thought that it would be a little darker and I was a little scared, but I'm really, really obsessed with how beautiful it is. You can just see how amazing that looks. And I'm also applying that in the tip of my nose because that is my favorite thing to do right now. Now to finish off this entire look, I really wanted to use a liquid lipstick because I've never tried a dose of colors anything before, but I felt like this look called for a more nude lip, so that's what I did. I picked the one in shade More Creamer Please because it is the Desi shade and I'm kind of on the Desi side of skin tone. And I just topped that off with some over the top lip gloss and this is the end of the look. And that brings us to the end of this video thank you so 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 much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial i had a lot of fun creating this and i'm so obsessed with how this looks it's just stunning i think everything looks so good together and i'm just so happy with this collection thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe bye